Yes, see children. So we, uh, we have completed the poem that my little brother, right? So in that little brother, how he is well, like a duck and how he got, a dim, uh, he got dimples a dozen times on his, in his hands, right? We learnt about our little brother, right? So a uh, questions from that poem. So see that first question is, who is talking about the little boy? Who is talking about the little boy here? Yes. Answer. The poet is talking about the little boy. The poet is talking about the little boy. Here the poet told about his little brother, right? So the poet is talking about the little boy. And see the second question. How is the poet's little brother? How is he? Yes, the poet's little brother is... The poet's little brother is fat. The poet's little brother is fat. And see the third question. Who does the poet compare the little boy? Who does the poet compare the little boy? To whom did he compare? Yes, with the little duck. So with the, duck, with the sweetest duck. So the poet compares the little boy with the sweetest duck with the sweetest duck. So the poet compares the little boy with the sweetest duck. So I am repeating the questions this way first. Once again see who is talking about the little boy? The poet is talking about the little boy. And how is the poet's little brother? How is he? Very fatty. So the poet's little brother is fat. And who does the poet compare the little boy? To whom did he compare? Duck. So the poet compares the little boy with the sweetest duck. With the sweetest duck. Right. Next question. Yes. Fourth question. Does the baby have hair? Does the baby have hair? No. So answer we can write. No. The baby... has no hair. The baby has no hair. Does the baby have hair? No. So the baby has no hair. And how many times does the poet count dimples in his hands? Yes, tell me how many times? Yes, a dozen times. So the poet counts dimples A dozen times a day. A dozen times a day, right? And what does the poet like to see him? What does the poet like to see him? Yes, the poet likes to see him So the little boy is always kicked with his beautiful, pretty feet. Na? So the poet likes to see him kick. Right. So these are the questions we have. Now come to the vocabulary. 
See children, so it's a time to know the new words. What we have the new words in the poem, we can see, recollect again. So what is this? First one, it's a dozen. Dozen means how many? I told you in the poem. How many dozen means? It's a twelve. Dozen means twelve. And wonder. I feel wonder. What is that? Surprise. Wonder means it's a surprise. And next one, dimples. Here dimples are there. What is this dimples? So, visible indications on hands. Visible indications on hands or knuckles. Knuckles. Do you know knuckles means? Yes, these joints are called knuckles. So, here in these knuckles, we are getting the dimples. So, one dimple here we are getting. But every child gets here dimples. So, that the, the invisible indications on hands are knuckles. Right? And now, pretty. Pretty means attractive. Pretty means it's very attractive or pleasant also we can take it. Attractive, pleasant. So now see this. Dozen. Dozen means how many? Twelve. And wonder, surprise. And dimples. Dimples means visible indications on hands or knuckles. And pretty. Very pretty girl. Pretty girl means attractive and pleasant girl. Right. And see children, here it's a time to spell. Complete the following words. So here they give some words, miss some letters here. So we should find the letters. Here they give the list of letters. So from that we should find it and we should write here. So see the first one, dash R-O-T-H-E-R. Dash R-O-T-H-E-R. What can we write? Yes, the first word, brother. The first word, B. Brother, B-R-O-T-H-E-R. Brother. And come the second one, dash I-M-P-L-E-S. I-M-P-L-E-S. What letter can we add here? Yes, this one. Dimples. D if we write here. Dimples. D-I-M-P-L-E-S. And see the next one. Dash H-I-L-D. H-I-L-D. Yes, this we can add it. And child. See H-I-L-D. And see the next one. Dash U-C-K. What we have here? Yes, a duck. D-U-C-K. And dash A-T. What can we write? Next letter, fat. It's a fat. All these words from our poem only, right? So fat. And dash O Z E N. What is this? Yes, a dozen. This is dozen. How many dozen means? It's a 12. Dozen means 12 in number. Next, dash W E E T E S. T E S T. W E E T E S T. So, which letter can we write here? Yes, sweetest. Yes, W E E T E S T. And dash A N D S. What are these? Hands. H A N D S. And next, what we have? Dash, sorry, R E T T Y. Dash R E T T Y. Which letter can you write? Pretty. P-R-E-T-T-Y. Next. Dash O-M-B. What is that? Combing. So C-O-M-B. C-O-M-B. From the given letters we should write here that whatever they missed. So once again repeating this is brother, dimples, child, duck, fat, dozen, Sweetest, hands, pretty, comb. Right? 
So you read it loudly again and you will get these words. See children, so it's a time to rhyme. Rhyming words, you know, that word ended with the same sounds, RL starting. It's just for funny. If we pronounce them very speed, how they are very funny to pronounce. Say that. Red rubber, baby buggy, bumpers, bounds. So once again you speak it. Red rubber, baby bu buggy, bumpers, bounds. So just to fun to speak it, they, they have given here. And now come to the next one. It's a time to write. What to write here? Write all the words that end with T-H-E-R. So here they gave nine. And in this total all the words end, should end with T-H-E-R. But one condition. What kind of words can we write? Those words only related to family. That are family members relations we should have. For example, one they give, what is this? Brother. Brother. So it should end with only T-H-E-R. That end with only T-H-E-R. Suppose now, who is the first person? Yes. Father. T-H-E-R. And next? Yes. Mother. M-O-T-H-E-R. And after this, who we have with, with ended with E-R, H-E-R. So that is grandfather. Grandfather. And grandmother. Grandfather. Grandmother. So this we know. And what more we have? One ended with T-H-E-R and the two related family only. See, now I am writing one. You know who is this? Great father. Great father. Great mother. Great father. Great mother. Who looks after all the things in the family? That person is called great father. Great mother. And not only these two. Another two we have. Those are maternal grandfather those are maternal grandfather who is it maternal grandfather do you know who is he no okay now i am telling maternal grandfather we are using those people also grandpa grandma only but those are grandfather maternal grandfather our mother's daddy and mummy so our mother's daddy, maternal grandfather, our mother's mummy, maternal grandmother, our mother's mummy, maternal grandmother. No, yes, who are the all our family members? The words ended with T H E R. See that brother. Father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, great father, great mother, maternal grandfather, maternal grandmother. Right? So these, all these are in our family. Right? See children, next they gave crossword puzzle. Here, very interesting this one. Yes, they gave the puzzle and they gave the clue words here. So, by seeing these clue words, we should fill this crossword. So, what if uh, this, uh, this puzzle you see related to family? So, complete family relationship. So, by using the clues they have given here, we should fill this puzzle. So, see the first clue word, what did they give? G R dash dash E D dash A. So, which is related to this one? Family, they said. So, family relations, GR means who is that? Yes, nothing but grandpa. That is nothing but grandpa. And first one here they gave GR dash, G dash dash DM dash. So, clue word they have given M. So, that means we should write grandma. So, here where did they give first one? Grandma to the down. From the top to bottom, top up to down, grandma. And second one from the left to right, that is grandpa. And see the third one, 
that they have given here da a dash dash t a dash dash t who is there yes aunt so third one from the top to bottom aunt a u n t and the fourth one they gave here f dash t h dash r f dash t h dash r so who is that father so fourth one there from the uh, up and down from to down we should write father each box only one letter should write it na right and see the fourth uh, fifth one da c dash dash s dash n c dash dash s dash n so what is that cousin cousin so fifth one downwards we should write cousin c o u s i n and the sixth one downwards m dash t h dash r yes who is there start with m mother m o t h e r mother and next seventh one we should write here h dash s dash 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 d start with h means husband h u s b a n d so these are from left to right h u s b a n d and the next come to the eighth one that is again to the downward <coughs> so b r dash 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 e r who is that brother b r o t h e r brother and next one ninth one from the left to right yes dash yes dash 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 so uh, they gave yes i s t e r sister so from the left to right we should write it and next tenth one u dash n dash 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 u n means that is that person is uncle u n c l e and the last 11th one w dash f dash who is there with the w good wife so 11th one left to right w i f e right understood this puzzle see the words i am repeating again so first one grandma second one grandpa third one aunt fourth one father fifth one cousin sixth one mother seventh one husband eighth one brother ninth one sister tenth one uncle and eleventh one wife these are the words they have given right yes children so the next one we have make sentences using the following words so we should they have given some words here by using these words we should write sentences what did they give first one doesn't doesn't means what did it tell you yes that is a 12 number so by using the doesn't we should write the sentence what can we write yes i bought dozen bananas you like bananas yes what i bought doesn't bananas so doesn't i used pretty so pretty what can we write she looks pretty in her dress she looks pretty in her dress and next one sweetest my sister is the sweetest one my sister is the sweetest on the earth my sister is the sweetest one on the earth and next one kick the ball kick so you kick the ball with force 
you kick the ball with force and the last one treat so treat everyone treat everyone as you were brother and sister treat everyone as your brother and sister right so once again i am telling this sentence dozen dozen means i bought dozen bananas pretty by using that word pretty she looks pretty in her dress so sweetest so my sweetest sister my sweetest brother so my sister is the sweetest on the earth so kick you kick the ball with force and treat treat everyone as you were brothers and sisters right and the last one in this it's a time to do our project work what is that paste your pictures here paste your pictures here where when i was a baby now i am so when you are a baby how you are that picture you paste here and when you are how you are now you paste another picture there right so then these are the topics we have in this second poem my little brother right so go through this poem again and learn all the topics including meanings and then write the exam on this write online exam on this topic and you can understand how much you learnt thank you you see children so in this poem the last topic so this poem my little brother so in this the last topic we have your favorite interesting topic that is yes project work so time to do what can we do it's a very simple one this time what is that yes paste your pictures here yes do they have given you should paste your pictures which pictures yes when i was a baby so when you are baby it is about little brother na so when you are a baby few months so or one year before below is that picture one you pasted there and now how you are now i am so your when you were childhood stage one uh, pic you paste there and here you paste it now how you are that picture pick one you paste it here okay so it's very easiest one so already you have your photographs so one photograph when you are childhood i mean uh, uh, when you are months of so six months or 10 months baby at that time how you are that pick that photograph you paste there and now i am so in that uh, box you should paste you a photograph of yours and now so for your age now 6 years how you are so that your 6 7 years how you are that you should paste it okay